All right, so we're doing a truck race here at Atlanta. Uh, we qualified second in this one. We're the 17 cars, so not bad at all. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite us since we all know how the Xfinity race went for us. But uh, settings felt really good. This is a fixed setup though, but uh, my steering ratio and all that, I finally think I got it set up to where the truck feels really good but yeah other than that can't really believe we qualify this well because we were not even running this quick in practice so just shows you how much change in steering race ratio and steering offset can really impact your times I think before this we were only running a 31.4, so back to 10th place actually. So, hopefully we can keep the speed, keep, keep take care of our tires throughout the race if it does go along green, and not get involved in a wreck. I might try and be a little bit more aggressive on the start just to stay more towards the front and away from that. 5th to 10th place, because it seems that's where a lot of the wrecks happen most of the time, so. Let's see what we can do here. How many people do we have in this? 20 trucks, so decent field. Also have to make sure we do not spin our tires on the start. I don't get a good start, but... That's fine. Inside. Go inside. Go inside. Gonna go far up to this wall, giving the guy below us plenty of room. Just in case he gets squirrely. Or you know what? We're probably just gonna give it to him here. Go inside. Clear, clear, clear. If I can stay with the 9 and be somewhat competitive here, should be able to keep away from that pack behind this because that just looks like an accident waiting to happen. Put over the brake just so we can possibly drag the brakes a bit. Help turn the truck just a little bit better into the turn. Those guys get pretty close. So far it's pretty clean, but lead pack here is breaking away exactly what I wanted to happen. I really don't want to be anywhere near those guys back there. Any bit loose there off the corner. These guys are getting really close though. I think I saw smoke there. The nine backs off quick. I don't want the guys behind us catching up to us, so I'm not going to even try to pass the 9. Let's just keep it single file and pull away. I would help if we have the relative view on. And it looks like something happened in that backpack because they have split off and turned into two packs now. Just trying to keep that wheel as straight and as least jerky as possible. 
they're point seven behind me. And unfortunately these guys are running too wide now. This isn't helping our cause. We can all just get in line. We'll be much better off. And you can kind of see how much it's slowing us down by them running side by side because JBL truck is absolutely pulling away on us. Nine will just drop in behind the six and we'll say good. They're point eight behind me, so not really gaining or anything here. Probably going to turn into a long green run. So, tire saving is going to be key. There, I was looking at my relative distance and almost tapped the wall. Still 0.7. I feel like it's going to turn to 0.6 soon. Six, there it is. I think we just need to be a little bit more aggressive in the coming out of the turn. Slow down just a little bit quicker. Might help us a bit. Drop down and then get back on that throttle. Relatively spaced the same, 0.5 now, so 7's probably going to be coming up on us soon. in at five laps, so slowly counting down these laps. No cautions yet, which I'm honestly shocked. Seven is definitely still gaining on us. So we'll probably get past here soon. 
seven, seven, two. I'm not sure if we can't figure out a good line that works for us. Or it looks like he got loose off the corner there. off the corner which is something new so I might try this high line just to see what it can do for us here and so we're obviously not keeping pace with the leaders now have significantly dropped. We're running at 33 now when before we were I think at 31.4, right? Or 31.2? So it just goes to show you how much tire drop off is. We are slowly losing, but honestly not that much. So Everyone's definitely feeling the effect of the tires. Oh my god, if I don't absolutely spin it. So, seven goes by. Yeah, it's getting really loose now. Not feel like that before. I think it's because we're turning so much into the corner. Try and get it to turn and then get back on the gas. It's just starting to take us around, so. And I have to be mindful of that. Roll back onto the throttle. Still wants to go. Hopefully, we can stay with the ten here. Every time. Still there. You're clear. So I think we just got to be way easier on the throttle, feather it more. Try and stay with the ten here. Seems to work better for us there. Point five, six, 
and if those two are going to battle for position, we might be able to catch him at some point here. If I don't touch the wall, uh, we're going to lose a pile of positions. All right, well, silly mistake. And that's going to take us all the way back to 11, so that's awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening with the truck now, because it's just crapping out on us. And that's going to take us all the way back to 12th. Hopefully we can sit here for a bit, stop losing time, figure out what we've been doing wrong. Well, I kind of know what we've been doing wrong, it's just too hard on the gas. And it's obviously happening to these guys too, as Yuhu hits into the wall. Clear outside. Very strange to have a car or truck go loose longer in the run. Normally you're used to going tight. But since we're so bad on corner exit, let's try and just send the truck into the corner just a little bit harder. Because everybody else trying to get it slowed down, but if we just try and plow our way into the corner, maybe that'll actually help us out. The back end is just so squirrely. I think that's why everyone's running this top line too, because it definitely helps with the looseness. So I think that's going to be the trick. Just plowed into the corner and that'll make up the difference for our horrendous exits. Seems to be working for the guys behind me at least because they're Slowly getting away in our rear view here. Could also have a caution, you never know. And if that does come out, that's going to make things much more complicated. Yeah, 
definitely feels way tighter up top. also allows them to catch me a bit here. So we don't want to do that. losing it again. So that's going to take us out of the top ten. have some good racing going on here because definitely coming in the corner quicker than him but I think he gets a little bit better of a run on exit oh god he hits the wall I don't know if he wasn't paying attention or something maybe I was looking to see where I was in the rear view I don't know Don't worry, I'm back to my loose. Okay, outside. Still out there. Someone's on the radio, not outside. happy, so I assume we might have some type of wreck. Still out there. But no caution, so. He'll get by us and we'll try to see if we can catch him maybe by the final lap. I really want a top 10. Especially starting second. We really should have been a bit better. Rockets tight that time, which is completely different from what we've been experiencing. So, things have been a yo yo. Tight to loose. Back to tight. Loose. It's just all over the place. Main thing is to not wreck here because you're going back pretty far. Alright, so P11. I guess not terrible since we are the 17. One position away from a top 10, which really kind of sucks. Let's check. Can't we get this thing slowed down? Let's check what the tires were at. Oh, yeah, we definitely were wearing them down. 58, 61. And even that left rear was getting a decent amount, probably from all the sliding on corner exit. But let's check here. Oh, there's there. Plenty of tires left. Just hit the wall one too many times. All right, let's see here. Oh, 
Let's check all the accidents. There shouldn't be any, actually, because we went green this whole time. Heard a guy... hitting the wall, he was saying. Might have had a spin, because I did hear them in the radio that... or the chat, that they, uh... were not happy with each other, so... Never know, they could have spun on the bottom there. 16, tap on the wall. 15 is going to hit the wall pretty hard. 20 went hard hit. Ooh, and there's a pretty decent incident. And I think that's what separated that uh, pack that we were saying. 20's car or truck, whole side is just taken off from hitting the wall so much. 15 tapping the wall. Oh yeah, this is where I... Yep. And there's really no other option there. Pretty much just have to ride it. Because if you don't, then you come up into those other trucks below you and you all wreck out. So, not worth it. 14 with a hard hit to the wall. Bean hitting the wall. Man, these guys were just super loose. Sixteen hitting the wall. Almost an accident there with the fourteen. Oh, and JBL's hitting the wall. This is the leaders. Oh my god, the one hits the wall again. Three almost loses it. Is this at the end of the race? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's see where the one ended up because it looked like he was hitting that wall like crazy. So, yeah, he was he was going back seven seven seconds, and we were eight. So, not too bad. Or no, we were not eight. Sorry, I don't know why. I thought the green was me. Uh, we were twelve. <laughs> So, or no, 11th. I can't talk. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.